Hello everyone and welcome to Volusia Reads Stream, which stands for Science, Technology, Reading, Engineering, Art, and Math. I'm Miss Laura and I'm coming to you from the Port Orange Regional Library and I'm so glad you tuned in. Today we were going to do an activity that would involve some science, maybe a little math, but then I came to my desk and I found this sitting in my chair. <laughs> it's a folder that says top secret and it says library intelligence agency. I had to open it up and inside I found a letter that says, please help. I can't find the perfect book. I don't know where it could be hiding and time is running out. I knew that I needed to set aside my plan for today and focus on this because you may not know I'm a librarian, but I'm also a secret agent. <laughs> Surprise! And this is a case that I just can't pass over. So I thought I'd show you how I solve cases, maybe even include you in it, but let's get to work. We need to solve this case and find the perfect book before time runs out. We are ready to get to work to solve the mystery of the perfect book. I have put on a disguise because I want to blend in as a secret agent, I want to be undercover. I've got my supplies, I have some more things in here, and I'm ready to go. One thing I noticed when I was looking at this letter, you won't be able to see it very well, but I can feel it. Down here, it seems like there's something at the bottom of the page, but I don't see anything. Fortunately, I have a marker with me. I'm gonna color over it and see if anything appears. I can reveal. I was right. Look. It says horse. There's a clue. What could it mean though? <laughs> it just says horse. Maybe I should look around for a horse. Maybe I should go just wander and see if I can find a horse. Let's go and see if we can. Found a clue. The first clue is just a bunch of numbers. <laughs> I don't know what that could mean. 23, 1, 20, 5, 18. I don't know. I do have, in my supplies, a decoder. Sometimes, some of these messages can be that the numbers stand for letters. Let's try my decoding sheet to see if it works. Number 23 is W. Number one is A. So far I have Y. <laughs> Number 20 is T. Number five is E. Number 18, R. I think that could be right. It says water. Let's go look for some water. Found some water. And I found a clue. Yay. Okay, let's see what it is. I have no idea. It seems like it might be written backwards. I have an idea of how we can figure this out. Come on. I was right. We just needed a mirror to be able to read the message. And look, it says, not this water. So I guess I was wrong about the water fountain. <laughs> look at the fish. Oh yeah, we have fish. Let's go look at the fish. Found the fish tank and look, I found another clue. But it looks like it's just a lot of dots <laughs> and lines. Oh, Morris code. I think this might be Morse code. And fortunately, in my supplies, I have a decoder. So that clue gave us the word surf cat, which may not be a word you know, but it refers to our library catalog which is the perfect place to look for the perfect book. Why didn't I think of that before? <laughs> well, I think 
we could use our catalog, put in the answers to the clues we found, those words we found throughout this hunt, and see what we come up with. Let's see. How about horse? That was our first one. And water was our second one. And fish. That was one of the words. Let's see what we come up with. There's a book on seahorses. I wonder if that could be it. Let's write down this number. I think that'll take us to the perfect place. Okay. I followed the numbers that I found in the catalog, the Dewey Decimal System numbers. I solved that code and I found our book. I think this might be the perfect book. But look, there's one more puzzle. And there's still the mystery of who wrote the message to us in the first place. Let's see if we can solve this one. Maybe it'll lead us to them. So this is what I found in the book. And it looks like the edge has been torn. There's all these letter patterns, but they end. And I wonder what it would have come next. Let's figure it out. Okay, so this first one, I see a lot of A's. It's like A E, A F, A G. Ah, the second letter is changing and they're in order of the alphabet. Let's see what it would be. E, F, G, H, I. J would have come next. Let's try that. This second one. The first letter Z. Y, X. It's the alphabet backwards. Hmm, what would have come before O normally that's gonna come? <laughs> it's an O. <laughs> Let's see, I answered my own question. <laughs> okay, so for this last one, it looks really strange. It's like A, C, E. Hmm, I think maybe it's going every other letter of the alphabet. Let's look and see. C, D, E, F. G, H, I, J, K, L, M. It should be N. We have J, O, N. John. Maybe that's who left us the message. Let's go see. This is the perfect book. Thank you, secret agents. Okay, we solved the mystery of the perfect book and we got it to John, <laughs> which was great. I wanna show you how some of those puzzles were made so that maybe you can make them yourself at home. One of them was where we found a message on the white sheet of paper, but we couldn't see it until we colored over it. The simplest thing, all you have to do is use a white crayon and write on your white paper. And we'll say, and then no one can see it. <laughs> so you could even write messages to one another that are secret. And the only way to reveal it is to color over it with a marker, with paint. You can even color over it with another crayon that's a different color and it'll show up. And look, you've written a message. So another fun way to write a message is to use a code or cipher. And it's where you have one symbol, a number, a letter, or even something, a symbol you've created to represent a letter or to represent a number. So in this one we had in our uh, mystery, the 23 W is the 23rd letter of the alphabet. So this code was taking the alphabet and turning them into numbers. So A is the first letter, B is the second, C is the third, and so on and so on and so on. It's a great simple code to use. You can also change that up and have it where the alphabet it's backwards, so the 26th letter is A, 25 is B, 24 is C, 23 is D, and so on and so on. You could also do fun things like having A equal B, and then B equals C, C equals D. Just creating your own cipher, your own code, using the alphabet and numbers. You can also use symbols, and you can even use pre-existing codes like the Morris code, like we did. But it's using symbols to represent the message that you want to communicate. And the person has to have 
the code or the cipher in order to understand the message. Well, thank you for helping me solve the mystery today of the perfect book. And I hope you create your own secret messages, even create your own mystery for someone to solve. Use some of the techniques we saw today, the white crayon, using different codes and ciphers, creating patterns using the alphabet, or even writing messages backwards, which is a little difficult to do, <laughs> but really fun. Um, but I encourage you to do that. Try different ways to make codes and secret messages and see if other people can solve them. I also encourage you to read some good books about secret messages, coding, solving mysteries. I'm going to show you some. There's so many out there. Look in our catalog, ask a librarian slash secret agent <laughs> and find the perfect book for you. I also encourage you to go to volusialibrary.org slash kids and look in the catalog yourself. Also look in our digital library, check out some of our eBooks. But I hope that you've enjoyed this time and we love to help you find the perfect book. So please come and we'll help you solve that mystery.